SubhanAllah, a young man, full of energy, full of strength, he comes to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He said, Ya Rasulullah, إِذَن مِي بِالزِّنَا Allow me, give me permission to commit fornication. Please ponder upon this amazing hadith of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Sahaba were angry. فَزَجَرُوهُ They were angry at his comment. Asking the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to give him permission to commit zina, fornication. And look, look at the greatest teacher ever, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He brought him forward. He said, sit. And he sat. And he came close to him. So Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam comes to this young man. And he said to him, after he brought him close, he said, would you like that your mother commits adultery? He said, would you like that your mother commits adultery? He said, Bi abi wa ummi anta ya Rasulullah. No, I would not want my mother to commit adultery. I would give myself up for you, O oh, Messenger of Allah. He said, would you like your sister? He said, no, ya Rasulullah. The same thing he said. He said, your daughter, even your daughter, he's not even married yet. But Muhammad Sallallahu is giving him this, this foresight. Would you want eventually that one day when you get married and have a daughter, would you like that someone commits adultery with you? He said, no, Ya Rasul. He said, your auntie from your father's side. He said, no, your khala from your mother's side. He said, no. He said, people don't want that for their mother, nor their daughter, nor their auntie, nor their sister. Look at the beautiful hikmah of our beloved Prophet Muhammad